Yeah, saw saw in January <laughs> when, when he came in. Um, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, trying to think of an example, I would I would say probably you know summer conditioning. Um, you know, he comes in and <laughs> you know he comes in and, and stands right next to me, which you know that's that's like. Uh, to me as a competitor, that's like, all right, let's freaking go. <laughs> it don't matter if it's summer conditioning. It don't matter if it's, uh, you know, running a race outside. That's like, let's go. Um, and, you know, when I see that as a freshman, um, I won't say anything, but you know, that game gains my, my trust and my respect right there. Um, no, you know, as, as you would expect, I absolutely dusted him. No, no. <laughs> um, no he kept up. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just why I love the kid because, you um, you know, he's, he's going to come in and, and he wants to be the top dog, you know, and, and that's what makes him special. Um, he's just such a competitor and, and you see it, you know, like I said, in his work ethic and everything that he puts into it. Well, I know it gets ridiculously competitive in practice, offense, defense. What about between Streeter and Goodwin, the coordinators? Is it competitive there too? Do you notice that between those two guys? Yeah, yeah, I, I think it is. Uh, you have a... Two different makeups, I think, uh, with Coach Treer and Coach Goodwin. Um, you know, but I absolutely love both of them. I, I think, honestly, I'm I'm, I'm probably got a, a little bit uh, of, a, of a bigger fight with, with Goodwin than, than Coach Treer does. You know, I'm I'm always out there, uh, you know, being loud, being vocal. Um, you know, but you know, they're always competing, always going after each other, um, and it, it's it's good whenever the offense gets the best of them. And is Goodwin giving it back to you? Yes, yeah, one hundred percent. Him, Coach Eason, uh, yeah, I got the whole defense on me. So uh, you know, it's it's what I love, though. You know, as I've mentioned, um, you know, I'm a freaking competitor, and uh, yeah, that that brings out the best of me because I know I got to bring it every day to practice. Because if I don't, I'm gonna hear it, and and, and they're gonna be on me, right? Um, you know, so that's what I love as a as a football player is having to bring it every single day. Thank you. How much does it mean to you to have more support on offense? You know? Ground with Cade and Will being your starter this week. Yeah, you know, it feels great. Um, I'm, I'm just so excited, so blessed to share a backfield with him. Um, you know, he, he leads, he, uh, he just commands the attention of the offense, <laughs> you know, he commands our respect. So um, I'm excited to go out there with him and, uh, you know, just excited to watch, watch him uh, show the world what he can do. And Coach Struger was telling me that you guys might be looking at running the ball a little bit more, not only in this game, but, you know, in games coming up next season. So. How exciting is that for you as a running back and you know, having a different style of play in terms of something that you guys have been doing the last few years? Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pumped to, to hear that I, you know, get the ball in my hands more. I, I love, you know, whenever I hear that, um, you know, I, I think that I can truly make an impact when I do have the ball in my hands. Uh, but, you know, what makes a great football player is what, what he can do without the ball in his hands. Um, you know, so uh, that's what I've just got to continue to work on, continue to focus, you know, pass blocking and, and uh, just making that impact without the ball in my hands. Is Cade, is in, the, in the RPO game, is he just more suited for it, you think, and that it just comes more natural to him? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say more natural. I think he's just got a lot of confidence in his decisions. And, you know, even when it's not the right one, he's going to ride and fit 110%. Um, so you just – you know, even if he makes a mistake, you don't. <laughs> as a crowd member, you wouldn't you wouldn't notice it, right? Um, and and that's what makes him special is he just he covers up a lot of things. Uh, and you know, you saw it in the ACC championship game, and uh, and I'm excited to you know see what he's able to do in the Orange Bowl. How many of those that he threw were called runs to you? How many of those would you say percentage wise? About everyone. About everyone. Wow. <laughs> no, no, not about everyone. Uh, we had a couple in there. I mean, he had a lot, a lot of really big plays in the ACC championship. Um, you know, I would say I would say anywhere from you know 50 percent, 50, 60 percent, um, you know, RPOs. But hey, when he sees a matchup, I'm telling him, take it, man. Do, do not worry about me. I, I, all I want to do is take pressure off of him, right? I, I don't want to add any pressure. I don't want to be a guy that I, I need more touches. I need this amount, right? That's not me. Um, you know, I just want to be able to support him in any way and take take off all the pressure that I can. What can that do in this game, considering the fact that their Tennessee watched the tape, obviously, and they saw North Carolina was loading up to stop the run, and, and Kate executed on the outside. What does that do now, maybe, to the offense going into this game? Yeah, um, you know, we're definitely wondering kind of what they're going to come out with, uh, you know, how they're going to play us, um, you know, just with it being Kate's second game. Uh, but we're we're excited and. Um, you know, whatever game plan we get, we got to adjust. We got to be ready. Um, but there's no question from from my end, I'm going to be ready um, for 
seven carries or 27 carries. Um, you know, I'm gonna be ready to go out there and, and do whatever I got to do to get a victory.